everybody, thanks for watching Chin Fat. In the previous episode, I went over how to add text and graphics to your timeline here. And now in this episode, I'm gonna continue on that and we're gonna show you how to do some end credits here. We'll show you how to just do some regular end credits and then show you how to do scrolling credits as well. Start out with here, we I did uh, create an opening title here that fades in over our movie. And let's say we wanna do some credits at the, at the end of the movie here. Now, I did make this style that I like. Let's say I like this style. I like what I've done to it. I, li I like all the features that I've added to this. And we're gonna say at the end of the movie, it fades to black. And then we'll have the credits fade in there at the very end. So I'm going to go to the beginning and I'm going to grab this because once again, you can copy the styles just by simply grabbing this file. I can copy and paste it or you can simply hold down option and click on this and it would be alt on a PC. And I'm going to grab this and drag it over to the ending of my movie here. And now I've got this exact same title at the end and it's got the exact same style to it. Now on black, I can kind of see this drop shadow that's like sticking out there. So I'm going to select this and, and select my layer and delete the drop shadow. But I'm going to use this style here to create my end credits. I'm going to grab this file here and I'm going to drag it upwards. And, I'm going to, and by the way, when you drag this up and up or down or left and right, as you start dragging, notice how it's going off center here. If you start as you start dragging, you hold down shift and keep dragging. And so, so you got to grab it first with your mouse. It doesn't work if you hold down shift and then grab it with your mouse. It just does nothing. So you have to grab it, start moving it. Notice how it's going a little askew here. I'm now as I'm moving, I'm going to hold down shift and it locks it to that vertical position and keeps it centered. And does the same if I start moving it side to side. As I start moving it, if I hold down shift, it will lock it to this horizontal position there. And if I drag it up and down, so once again, you got to start dragging it up or left and right, and then it will lock it to the position either horizontal or vertical. So I'm going to grab this, drag it up, hold down shift to lock it to my vertical position. And we're going to start typing in some credits here. So what I've got here is a spreadsheet that I'm going, that I've got all the, the cast and crew on here. And what I like doing, uh, I like doing it on a spreadsheet so I can select columns if I wish, if I want to select positions and put those on one side and then character, or then the crew or the actors and put their name on, on the other side. So yeah, we're going to do a little bit of a different formatting here. So let's first of all, grab our actors. I'm going to copy just the, the character names here and I'm going to hit copy, command C to copy. I'm going to go back. Then I'm going to go back to premiere here and I'm going to type in cast at the top. I'm just going to put cast at the top to show for the actors. Now I'm going to hit my arrow tool to re rearrange this, to put it in a, a uh, pull it down a little bit and hold down shift while I'm dragging it down to keep it centered. Uh, but now I'm going to go up and duplicate this. I'm going to right click on my cast and duplicate it. And now I'm going to grab this and drag it down over to the side here. Now I'm going to double click into this text here. Now I'm going to paste this into my text here. It did some spaces here. I'm going to hit uh, delete to get rid of some of the spaces here. Uh, just to clean this up a bit, get these all pulled up here. I've got three cast members here. So I'm going to select this, maybe make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to do something that they commonly do on like a Hollywood films and, just, and short films is I'm going to left align this. So everything is aligned over to the left here. I'm going to scoot this over a little bit where I think I like it. And now I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to right click on this and duplicate that. And I'm going to grab the duplicate file, drag it over, hold down shift to keep it on the same level here. And now I'm going to go back and copy the, the actor names. So let's grab the actors here, copy them, go back to Premiere, and I'm going to double click in here and paste it right there. Uh, let's clean up the extra spaces that I gave here. There we go. And now I'm going to align this to the right. Okay, I'll grab my arrow and they kind of positioned it over here because my anchor point was over on the side here. So I'm going to grab this, drag it over. And now uh, let's, let's kind of change the length of the names here. Name this Ted Johnson. Make it a little bit shorter so you can kind of see what's happening here. So yeah, so it has arranged, it has aligned everything over to the right. This is very commonly used in creating credits here. So now I have cast Jeff played by Ted Johnson or, and so on. Cool. So now when it fades out, fades back into this here, the cast. And let's say I want to cut right there and we're going to, and we're going to have a cut to the next text here. So what I can do is just go down and choose my razor blade, move this over and let's turn my snap tool on. Snap tool is, is white. So it's turned on. If it's gray like that, it's not turned on, but now it's activated. I'm going to move it over and it will magnetize right to that my playhead and click and it will cut it right there. So now I'm going to hit my V for arrow or select my arrow tools select this and we can edit this tool here. So now we're going to go into the cruise. So I'm going to delete the cast from and move over to the selected item here and hit delete and it will delete it. And now we're going to start filling this in with our crew members here. I'm going to grab this and drag it up because now it will start showing our crew members here. I'm going to grab this and drag it up as well. And once again, I'm holding shift as I'm dragging it up. And actually we can do those at the same time there. So it moves them up at the same uh, distance. I'm going to hold down shift and select both of these. Start dragging it up and hold down shift while I'm moving it up and it will keep it, that alignment there and drop it right there. 
All right, let's go and grab our crew members here. Let's maybe do like maybe four or five of these. We're going to grab director, written by, edited by. We'll grab those four right there. Copy, move it over, double click and inside the text here and paste it. And now we got to do clear these spaces in between here. Well, we're going to paste the names in here. So let's grab the names. I'm going to grab these. All right, so we've got four people on there and now we can simply go grab our arrow tool. We can select both of these here, hold down shift, select both, both of these. And now I can grab and start dragging down and hold down shift as I'm moving that down. And now this will cut from one to the next. And now we can do the same thing. We can decide where we want to cut this. I'm going to get rid of the fade out, delete that. We're going to hit C for cut, cut that. I'm going to delete this because I want it to be the same length so I don't have to stretch it out and guess. I'm going to delete that and grab this and option and drag it to the right there and it duplicated that file. So now I can kind of use this template and keep adding these in until I get everybody added to the cast and crew there. We'll do one slate for all of our producers here. So I'm going to grab us co-producers and I show us here producers, double click in there, get right here and hit delete to bring these up. And we're going to grab all of our producers here and paste them into the next one. Now we need these to be a lot smaller. So I'm going to show you a way to kind of change the size simultaneously here for all, all these together. I click in here and we're going to paste their names in there and format this properly, get all their names up here. Now to change these sizes simultaneously, I can select both of my windows here. I can select the co-producers, hold down shift and select the other one. And now we can go up to the corner node here and change the sizes at the same time. And they will maintain the exact same size there. So the text stays the exact same size. I'm going to grab this and drag it over to the left and get it aligned so it looks a little more centered. There we go. Now all I have to do is get these so they line up properly. Let's hit return on the associate producers. And there we go. So now we've got the co-producers, the associate producers, and then at the end, let's say that's the end of the credits, and we play through it, and it will cut from the cast to the crew, and then another slate, and you can keep doing that until you have all your credits in there, and that's the, that's the way to do the kind of this page style as it's cutting from page of credits to page of credits to page of credits. Okay, so next let's show you how to do scrolling credits. So I'm going to delete these here, and the scrolling credits are all going to be on one big long file here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the time on this. If you play this back at a specific speed, it's going to look stroby, especially at 24 frames per second. I'm going to delete these blocks up here. We really only need one block on this right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to select this and delete it. Select this and delete it. And we're going to make this our full credit list right here. So I'm going to delete all my text here. I'm going to go to my spreadsheet and I'm going to copy and paste everything into my credits here. Copy. And you can do this on your spreadsheet or a Word document and get everything formatted properly. What I want to do here is I want to hold my mouse over my screen here. I'm going to, and I'm going to scroll down with my mouse scroll. It's going to zoom out and you're going to see how long your credit scroll is. If you middle click, it'll, it'll grab it by the hand like this. I'm middle click on my mouse, grab it and drag it up. And I can see how long my text is here. And you can just keep doing that. And, and then it, you will not send your video signal out. So that's as far as you go. Your text goes down beyond that. That's not a problem. But I'm going to go back down to this window and we're going to say fit and maybe scroll this out just a little bit so we can see the wireframe here. And what I want to do is start formatting this. But right now, before we do that to get access to all the text that's in here, I want to turn on my scroll here. Uh, so I'm going to go up to my properties here. I'm going to deselect this layer here. I don't want to select that layer because it's showing the edit options for that. I'm going to deselect it. And down at the bottom here, just the general transform options here, I have this roll at the bottom. That's how you roll or scroll your text here. And now you got this little scroll bar on the side here that you can scroll through all of your text. I'm going to make this a lot smaller for now just so I can edit my text before I start scrolling. So I've got my arrow selected. I'm going to click on this to make the wireframe and let's shrink this down to make that whole box a lot smaller there. So it fits within my screen now. Let's get it right to the edge there. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to deselect the box and now I'll have my all my text that's scrolling by here. Uh, you can grab your little scroll bar here and move it up on the side and this will show how it's going to scroll in what order. Now, if you want that that far apart, that works just fine. But we, what we can do if we want it closer together, we can cl uh, double click in here and start eating up some of the some of the space there. So I'm just hitting my small delete key, my backspace key or my backspace key to, to kill all that. I'm just going to make one little space between them like this. And then and I'm going to keep formatting this until I get it exactly the way I like it. And one other thing that you could do to, rather than use the scroll bar over here, because whenever you click on the scroll bar, it goes outside of the editing of the text here. Then you have to go back to the editing of the text is you can just go into editing your text here, click in the side here, and now you're editing that text, but you can use your scroll, your play scroll down here to show what part of the screen you are, you are fixing. So here where it says co-producers, I can hit my delete key that brings these back up. 
Uh, let's delete all those, get our, and, and keep on formatting. Then I can play ahead a little bit like this and get the next one fixed. And if you're doing scrolling, I'd really recommend doing a Word document over a spreadsheet. I like spreadsheets for if I'm doing the page by page, but if I'm doing scrolling, it's nice to have it all formatted in a Word document before you stick it in here. Otherwise, you have to play through this and edit it. So I'm going to finish editing this, and then we'll come back and show you the next steps. Okay, I finished fixing the text inside of the box here, and now the next step is going to be looking back at the, at the scroll here. So I'm going to get to the beginning, and it will scroll automatically, like you see here. Uh, let's go to fit the screen here. Uh, and as I press play here, this clip is a certain length here. And as it plays back, you'll notice it is strobing really badly. It's going by way too fast and it's strobing really badly. So you got to kind of find that speed that's going to fit this without making it terribly slow and also making it not strobby. At 24 frames per second, you're going to get that. So I'm going to basically double my length here. I'm going to grab this and drag it out and approximately double the length. And now let's play back and see how this looks. Still looking a little bit strobby. Still looking a little fast. So we're going to go back to our, our graphic here and let's even double it again because it's going to take some some length there to play that at a, at a proper speed there uh, to where it doesn't look like it's strobing. So let's watch it here. That's looking better. It's a little, little stroby. I think this would do here just fine. But look, look at the difference if we just go a little bit slower, maybe like one and a half times here. That looks really good to me right there. See, that looks like a good speed where it's not strobing too much. It looks at, at people can read the credits as they're going by. Uh, that's looking pretty darn good to me there. But we have, let's go even more and see what happens here. So if we go a little bit more. See, now our, our this is the problem about doing uh, scrolling credits is it's usually made for feature films. If you have a large crew, it can sometimes take about the same amount of time to play the credits back as it to as if you say you got a four minute movie and then you have like three minutes of credits that's way too long for a short film to watch three three minutes three or four minutes of scrolling credits after watching a three or four minute short film so let's look at it here and that looks like a very proper speed to me that looks really really good no strobing it's going by nice and smooth the credits look great so that, so if you don't want those to look amateur you got to kind of find the right speed and you could fit more of these credits kind of side by side make them smaller and make the credit scroll go by for faster without doing the strobing if you cram more on the screen. So and sometimes they will do that in short films that they want to do scrolling credits. Well, cool. Well, that's the, that's the tutorial on how to do scrolling credits, on how to do regular credits. If you have any questions or uh, comments, let me know. Post them below. And thank you for watching ChinFat.